What are you doing over here? Sitting on my park bench. You reading your Santa Claus stuff? Yep. Ain't no steps sure are nice, aren't they? They are, look. Yeah, we gotta get these out of there for Miss CNC sees this stuff. Yeah. Pretty yeah. sure she may have seen some of it already. Ah. Look at that. That's why your shoes are yellow. That's right, bub. If you've not seen, we've got a big old cluster going on here in the 07.3 shop truck, don't we? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're missing a lot of parts right here. You guys watched the last video, you've seen uh, me and Hunter and the boys working on the cab. Kevin and them was there earlier in the week, wasn't you? That's right. You know, I put a um, post up on Facebook yeah. yesterday. Thought if anybody could guess what the cab and stuff was for. <laughs> everybody guessed it was for the shop truck. You know what That's else they guessed? People. What? That you painted it. <laughs> I got, I'm gonna have to tell you something Hunter told me here in a little bit. Okay. I can't wait. <laughs> he knows how you didn't paint it. He can tell. Oh, because there's no runs? <laughs> you know what he said? This is what he said. He said, I know Hunter, Kevin didn't paint it. So why is that? Because there's no runs anywhere. <laughs> yeah, I, I like runs. Runs are better than those. So we'll take you guys over here and uh, show you the cab. Our goal is to get it set on here and get the whole thing done in this video, hopefully. So uh, we're gonna get the cab on there first. I think Randy's actually gonna take this out here and wash it off a little bit so it's all clean. Then we'll get, I got new cab mounts for it. We're gonna set the cab on there and uh, probably start with the interior. I got a headliner, I gotta make a new headliner for it. Um, I've got some seats to go in it. We've gotta get those fabbed up and then we'll stick the doors and stuff in it. So. But, uh, yeah, a lot of stuff to do there for sure. All right, so if you're not seeing, you might want to go check out that last video of actually doing all the bodywork and painting this dude. What do you think? It is pretty. It is pretty. You know what the good thing is? What's that? We don't have to buff it. <laughs> I think it's good enough, ain't it? We got a lot, a lot of parts and pieces to scratch. Oh, we ain't gonna scratch nothing, bro. No. Well, <clears throat> I guess we should get that cab picked up and put on the old swing rail, huh? Good. We'll get after it. Quality. Yeah, say ho, ho, ho. Somebody had some Santa Claus. Yeah, we gotta get these out of there for Miss C&C sees this stuff. Yeah. Pretty sure she may have seen some of it already. Ah. Got a whole bunch of goodies there for the truck. Kevin's gonna not spill them when he comes through the hallway. Okay. Open the door, I'm coming fast. <laughs> You're supposed to say ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. Got it. Nailed it. Now we're running out of space in here. We're gonna have to do something about all this big old mess. We've got some seats over here we gotta go find. Randy's washing the frame out there. We'll get it in here and we'll uh, stab that cab on her. All right, we got a few things put on. Got a cab lights, heater, cow. You're not gonna drop it, are you? Things looking good. What are you doing over here? Sitting on my park bench. You reading your Santa Claus stuff? Yep. Ain't no steps sure are nice, aren't they? They are, look. You, you know how many haters I've got for these things? Hey, not everybody's got Menard steps on the side of the Just so you people know, I'm not going to take these steps off his truck. Because <laughs> it's a comment generator, and that's what that's we need right. more comments in our videos. <laughs> Sorry, people. All right, what have we got here? Instructions? SMB. Silicone filled body mount kit. I think these are the removal tools. Uh -oh. Got row three. I don't know what we do with row one, two, or three. One. Four. Got row one up here. This is two, and that's three. 
We're gonna get some new body mount slammed in this dude and stick his cab on here. Man, those are nice, nice benches. I might get blasted for leaving those on there. I like them though. These are supposed to be the real deal here. They look like it. Mm -hmm. They better be there, not cheap. Oh, just better hope Bridget don't find out. Oh, <laughs> not coming this year. No, not yet. You seem puzzled, Mr. Kevin. Yes. You got removal tool row two. Ro row row two. Different part numbers. One's row three is smaller. Yeah. Got it. Two four one seven. Row mm -hmm. three. I grab this bigger one. And it's a 2417 row three. Huh. Same number. But it's different clearly. Sizes. I think that must have been made during COVID. Yeah, I think so. So this one's a six. Row two. We're going to go with that's the big one. Yeah. Maybe S&B filters need to look at their uh, quality control a little bit better. Yeah. Yep. We're just we pointing can. things out. We're fine. Yep. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. Yeah, that's all right. Good thing we got a picture. All right, we got our new cab mounts on there. We're gonna go ahead and slam this cab on here before lunchtime and uh, see what happens here. You ready? Let me get some bolts in those holes, Kevin. Okay, come on down. Okay, that's all you. Come on down some more. Come on down. Come on down some more. Alright, that's probably good. We can get those straps unhooked. There she is. We'll have to get her lined up and get the bottom mounts on there, but uh, she is off the forklift and back on the truck. Looking good. Oh, I like that step there. You need... Can we get a second one? Maybe we can go through the front windshield. It's not in there. All right, we'll get that off here and uh, start tackling the inside. All right, we got the new headliner glued down. We used the old cardboard backing. Kevin's cutting holes in it for no reason. Notice we're not professionals here, and we don't claim to be. Well, it's going to be just fine. I feel pretty good about it. I've been using uh, this stuff right here. Seems like pretty sticky stuff. Got a little warpy do in it here. I think we're gonna put some weight on it and let it dry like that. Be golden. The reason we're working on this first, my glass guys are coming back tomorrow and uh, it's a lot easier to get this thing slid in the back hole, I believe. We originally took it out through the sideways and it doesn't fit real well. 
So our plan is we got to put the wiring harness back inside the cab for the speakers and all that stuff. We got to insulate the cab. We got to get that headliner in there and get it uh, fixed up before the glass guys get there, as I just said. It's just a never-ending process. It's a lot of boring stuff. Why did you take this apart for? I don't know. You know what? I think I've had that dash out before, though. Yeah? Yeah. I think I'm pretty sure. I got a new vinyl floor. Got a whole bunch of goodies there. Freebies. Freebies. Just don't let Bridget see them. You got something figured out for this yet? No, I was trying to find something clean. Well, <laughs> that's hard to do. <laughs> well, how's the headliner looking? Uh, you know, it was going it, really good. It looks real good. nice. It was going really good. And then there's these two holes back here. And like, I think they're for the sun visors. I think those are supposed to go up there. <laughs> I mean, how did we do that? Well, I don't know, but you can always... Oh, my. You can always start over, right? <laughs> well, we had a 50-50 shot, I guess, and we got it wrong. Yeah. Next time, we need to pay more attention. Yeah. Who does that? Uh, well, some of us. All right, we're going to start back over. <laughs> well, we got it in the right way this time. All right. We got some visors. We actually took those out of another truck. They're cleaner. Missing a lens cover, yep. What's next? This thing. This thing, you guys, probably, there's a whole video just taking this thing out and swapping it. <laughs> We're going to put this in next. Then we got to uh, probably start fitting seats next, huh? Mm -hmm. We know the back seat fits. So I've got some new, like, 2020 Super Duty seats I'm going to put in here. Bucket seats, center console. Mm. Hold your cold drinks, cold snacks. Mm. Is it break time over here? Nutter butters. Nutter butters. <laughs> So we gotta get those fitted up. We'll probably have to hack the legs off bottom of the uh, bench seat. Modify. That's we did this to Hunter's Bronco. Oh yeah? It's, it's real fun. Good. Then once you get that done, we can slam the floor stuff in, seats, hang the doors on it. I gotta, go to, done. I gotta go to Pennsylvania for auction sometime. Oh boy. Yeah. Hey, don't worry. I'll have it all together by the time you get back. I'm sure you will. <laughs> All right, just like that, the dash happened to just jump in place, didn't it? It did. A couple, it two, three. Real easy. Real easy. Just that easy. Got the steering column in. Got it all in. We're fitting seats in right now. The glass guys came too. Got brand new front windshield. Got the new strip in there. Got the original back glass with a new rubber seal in there, looking good. So me and Kevin's been working on Super Duty seats. You guys might see we're doing a little bit of fabrication. So, we've got a set of seats, I think they're out of like a 2020 Super Duty. We put a set of these in Hunter's Bronco. Um, a guy I get them from, actually, I think they're ambulance builders. They take out the stock seats. Anyway, these are new takeouts, but they're a couple years old. And uh, we're doing a little bit of fabricating. We've got a steel plate, quarter inch plate we put in there. The reason is our tracks are going to kind of span over this here. Um, we're utilizing two of the factory threaded holes. We're putting a third one in there for good measure. We took all the uh, bracketry off the bottom here, so we're just actually going to put these um, bolts on there and weld those for studs onto this plate. And then that plate will get bolted down, and you can bolt the seat to it. It's just that easy. Bang. We don't know what we're doing at the center console yet. That's a whole other story. Zip ties. <laughs> Zip tied in. Mm -hmm. We're not worried about it, right? We put a tarp strap over it. So, we're about ready to test fit the seats and maybe tack weld those. See what we're doing with that center console. It's coming along slowly but surely. So, once we get all that fit, then we can put in, we got some sound insulation to put down, and we'll put the vinyl floor down. And then we can put the seats in there. Of course, we've got all the trim in there and all that good stuff. So, it's looking good with the new windshield in it for sure. That's where I sit. In the middle. In the middle? You yeah. better suck it in, sausage fingers. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Alright, we're going to get after it. Alright, we got the seats all mocked up. We got the brackets all made. We actually got to paint those black here in a little bit. We got the floor all cleaned out. Put some wax and grease remover on it. I actually used some bolts to locate these. These are just Allen head screws. Locate all of our seat holes and all that stuff. So when we set this dynamat over it, we know where the bolt holes are at and we can cut those out and then we've got um, our vinyl floor laid out over there 
and it also come with some insulation to go under it so we'll be able to cut all the holes and stuff in that uh, through there because we can feel those bolts sticking up it makes it a lot easier that way you're not trying to find holes and make a big old mess so we're gonna get after this and get all this down and I don't know about that vinyl floor over it's been laying out overnight but it may have to sit a little bit longer it's been folded up in a box just like that we got her all in there Shazam Shazam I ought to keep her a little quieter Stayed away from the transmission tunnel so we can get access to it and we run out of stuff. I'll say that. She's going to be solid now. We've got a bunch of that uh, carpet over here now. Do we uh, even know where it goes? Or not carpet, I don't know what you call this stuff. It's recycled carpet. We'll figure out where it goes here. Isn't that what it is? Yeah. We're going green with this truck. Okay. Hey, that looks like the, uh, you know the bad thing about this stuff? What? It sucks to cut holes in it. Yeah, it does. Apparently I didn't get the memo I had a four-wheel drive truck. Oh. All right, we're going to figure out this mess and get it down here. I think you've got it, got it figured out there. Okay. We're going to do some. we got a little, is that for the, uh, Dimmer switch that I don't have no more. That's for you, bud. I think you're right. You're onto something. Yep, yep. Get trimmed out around that tunnel. We'll be golden. That'll keep her quiet. That's right. All right. We got our nice, what do you call this? Recycled jute carpet stuff. Got her all wrapped up around there. Put some on the back wall. We didn't feel there was a need to put it under the seat and cut all these freaking holes in there, did we? That's right. I could do better. There, There is a piece of carpet that lays over there. So, we're going to let that uh, get uh, molded to shape. Probably not. Way over there. Getting better. We're actually going on a little road trip to Pennsylvania, and we'll be back in a couple days. That, and we got to go unload a Jeep container right now. So, Ooh, yeah. we'll catch you guys back here in a couple days. All right, just like that, the seat just magically appeared, didn't they? Ta da! Got the uh, vinyl mat in, got it all stretched out, got a brand new shifter boots in there. You guys can see that. The seats turned out very nice. I like the way they're sitting. Got plenty of adjustment forward or back. Center console's in there good. We did use the old back seat, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you think? I love it. The seat that actually come out of the truck, I just said actually, is that nasty Ooh. thing over there. So we used the old 87 blue seat. I don't know, we may do something with it later. Seat yeah. cover. It's blue, it's fine. So, uh, I think it turned out pretty good. I love it. All that matters is this spot right here. That one? Spot. Yeah. So, should, should we tell them about our moment last night? Oh. So, we went to an auction in Pennsylvania two days ago. We got back at 3.30 this morning. 3 o'clock. We may have had a tire blow out in Ohio about 11. No, it was what, 7? 6.30, 7? 7. seven. We didn't leave Love still. Midnight? Midnight. Just, Highly trained professionals. Yeah, I can. We don't have anything good to say about love. <clears throat> no, not at all right now. <laughs> We're very tender. <laughs> all right, what are we doing next? Hanging doors? Hopefully going home and going to sleep. I know. <laughs> Door time. Door time. Yeah, so we're going to leave the rest of this trim. Boys are probably going to be here tomorrow and uh, help put all that together. We just want to get the big stuff in there so we didn't scratch the doors up. But I mean, this is looking factory here. It is. Got the plastic cover, plenty of adjustment. Mm -hmm. Even put one of the old rusty bolts back in there so somebody can play it on YouTube. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. coming along nicely. So we'll start with the back doors, kind of get that rear gap set there. And then we'll put that door, kind of get that gap set. And then we're feeling real froggy. I'm not feeling froggy. We might work on the fenders. Ribbit, ribbit. That's what we're going to do. Don't mind all the trash and stuff under here. All right, we're going to get some doors. All right, starting to look a little bit better. we got the doors lined up pretty good for right now. Mr. Kevin's taking the uh, old core support rubber mounts out. We're going to replace them with the new ones because we put new ones under the cab. But uh, got everything lined up pretty good and looking pretty good. Pretty. Pretty colors. Got the front balance panel. we got uh, fenders over here. We're going to get that raised back up. It was too low. We forgot about those mounts. What you need? Make a lot of noise. Oh, okay. 
I was just showing these people what we've done in the last two hours. Oh, two hours, Mike. <laughs> it was only like five seconds on TV. That's right. Alright, we're going to get the fenders hung on it. Alright, I got new better help, don't I? I don't know about that. Uh, Tucker's been helping today. Hunter was helping earlier. We got the fenders on. We did get the rest of the inside of the interior done, except for the doors. They got to be loaded. Hunter's going to come over tomorrow because he took a lot of stuff out. They're going to be so happy about your rear seat. Our rear seat? They've already seen it. The blue seat? We need a seat cover, maybe. It's fine. Got the seat belts in, got all the trim in around the tops. Got the uh, sill plates in, front and back, both sides. Looking good. What do you think? Hunter did put some reinforcement panels. You guys know these OBS four doors, they tend to uh, crack out. This one was actually busted. I fixed it. It is a little crooked. <laughs> we put one on the other side, got the rest of the dash in there. It's all dirty, it needs cleaned up yet, but I uh, uh, got the gauges and stuff back in there. So we've been uh, shimming up gaps and stuff. Got gaps looking good on here. We've got uh, everything tightened up here. We got the front of the top of the fenders loose yet, so we gotta get that hood in there. We might have to tweak these in or out. We got this front um, piece bolted on here, so it's coming along. Oh, and Hunter got some stainless steel wheel covers put on too, so they don't make any for a four-wheel drive because they never made these in a four-wheel drive truck. So we actually cut the center out here. The rear ones look good, but the front yeah. ones are. So here's the deal, this is a 10 lug truck and it's kind of an oddball, they've not made aluminum wheels for these things for like 22 years, so. If anybody's got a set of Alcoa aluminum wheels, hit me up, emails down in the description below, I might be interested in them. They're uh, 16 inch 10 lug wheels, I believe they only fit these F Super Duties. I think it's like a 7.25 bolt pattern 10 lug, but uh, kind of oddball, I'm just doing this right now. I found a guy who had a brand new, um, new old stock set, but he wanted like $3,500 for four. Hmm. That wasn't happening right now. <laughs> I did find some blank aluminum wheels that we could drill, and that's a possibility too. But for right now, we're going to rock the stainless steel uh, stainless steel hubcaps. What do you think? Not terrible. They're growing on me. So, uh, yeah. That's about it for today. We're going to go take a break. We're going to stick the hood on the morning in the morning when uh, Hunter's back. Help us, and we'll get it all lined up. And then we can button up the front end and. Uh, we gotta get all those doors loaded and then maybe Monday we can get that bed on there and get this freaking mess cleaned up in here so we'll be back in the morning all right we've been thrashing there Hunter and I has got all the door panels all the glass in he's finishing the last one up over there got uh, all the new rubber seals in there got to trim up some of the extra uh, glue there when that dries we put new glass in the vent windows driver's front window and the passenger's front window and vent windows I said before those had a lot of um, ice scraper marks in it for being in the cold. We did reuse the old glass. It's got some marks in it. You guys can see there's actually some pitting from some welding air, but it's back window. I'm not worried about it. Hunter's finishing up, finishing up the uh, window crank. How's that going for you? Not right. We'll take a peek at it. We got uh, new rubbers in there. It's all new, isn't it? Mm -hmm. A lot of freaking work. A lot of little parts all the little handles and stuff we took out and all the latches and lock mechanisms so tomorrow um it's actually going to be monday kevin and randy we can get the hood put on there hopefully me and kevin can get the grill done get that bed slammed on it, and get this thing done tomorrow we're going to take it to z-bart and get it z-barted so if you guys don't know what that is it's actually um undercoating and they actually spray inside the doors there's actually an old sticker from the 87 cab that's still on there so They'll spray the bottom of it real hard, and uh, this cab has all these holes drilled into everywhere. They actually stick a wand in there, all these holes, there's a bunch of them, and they'll spray stuff inside there, and that'll help it from uh, rusting too. They'll do the doors and all that stuff, so, but uh, we're going to take it there uh, Tuesday to get that done. I think we're going to get the windows tinted too, but uh, we'll be back in the morning and uh, get the front done. Hey, bub. What'd you find, bub? There's a snake that would have bit us. You find, oh, there's the ground cable we're looking for. It's right there out of the way. <laughs> All right, Kevin's back today. We got the hood on, got it lined up. Got a nice new shiny grill on. Let's shut this noisy thing off. Just put Freon back in it. 
Nobody can blast me anymore for having uh, smoked over headlights that gray colored can't see out of. So we put a nice chrome grill on there. Got one more battery to stick in and uh, I think we're ready for the bumper. Bumpy. And then we should be ready for that bed hopefully. Every little thing's been fighting us. I don't know why. It just is. It's a Ford thing. It's a Ford thing, huh? Kind of feel like you're not sitting in there right, bud. Flat. We're going we're gonna to get that in there and uh, get the bumper lined up. Hopefully, we got a couple of emblems put on, too. A couple of touch-up on some door bolts decals. and stuff. Decals. Yeah, we got some goodies to put on. Got all the old headlights you guys been blasting me on. Probably just gonna throw those away. I got some new Power Stroke emblems here too. Got those from Complete Performance. And we got the fender badges gotta go back on there too. It's coming along. All right, bed fit right on there just fine, didn't it? Just like it was made for it. That was pretty easy. Well, there she is. We're going to attempt to start her up. We did hook her fuel tank back up. We did. We did think it's going to start? Oh, yeah. You think? I didn't hook any of the wires up. No, there, we had a lot of stuff undone. We want to check the um, bed lights. I'll turn the key on. Let that fuel pump cycle. We got park lights. Yep. And, uh, left turn signal. Yep. Right turn signal. Yep. And brake light. Yep. Okay. Wonder how much that fuel pump needs to run. Is it leaking any fuel anywhere? Not yet. Not yet. What do you think? You ready? Oh, we gotta hit the button. Don't have nothing. It's always good, isn't it? 
All right, we're gonna have to do some diagnostics. All right, I think we may have found the culprit in the starter solenoid relay over there. Too much paint. Too much paint. That master painter. Man, he did a good job, didn't he? Yeah. Painter so Kevin's putting a, a little star washer on there. Maybe. Maybe. Was not well, hopefully right. that uh, fixes our start issue. There's always something. Mm -hmm. See if we fix it. Here we go. Hey, it runs. Rain wind park. Well, if that's all we had to deal with, that's a minor. Okay. We've got to do a couple little touch-ups on it around some door bolts and stuff. And uh, I'm getting ready to take this thing to Z-Bar, as I told you guys earlier. So we get it back, get it all cleaned up. We'll give you guys a nice little walk around of it. All right, me and Mr. Kevin's going to take this thing on a little test drive. We've been buttoning up little odds and ends. One thing we did do, you guys pointed out, we actually adjusted the steering link under there. The steering wheel was kind of turned going down the road, so I adjusted the drag link here. Hopefully we got it straight enough. We actually adjusted one of the bump stops too, because it wasn't turning all, all the way. way to the left. So Hopefully we got that fixed. We're going to back this dude out and take for a little ride down the road. We're going to see how much quieter it is in the cab. Cadillac. You think so? Cadillac. We put enough insulation in there. it's a school bus, but Cadillac. It is. It is a school bus. So. All right. We're going to go for a little test drive. That's right, bub. Say like goodbye, seats. boys. Like the seats? Pretty nice. Pretty, Pretty nice. nice. I can tell it's quieter in here already. It already is, isn't it? That big old dude. Poor D8. Don't ride any smoother. No. But show them what we're really here for. What's that? Santa Claus. Oh. They're not going to see this till after Santa That's Claus. That's okay. Santa Claus will Santa be Claus. here. Oh. So my building's 18 foot tall. Santa like, Claus uh, is 20. He is 20 <laughs> foot tall. <laughs> Craziness. Santa Claus. <laughs> would you like to hear the turbo, sir? I would. I think we got a whole lot quieter. Yeah. Steering wheel's pretty straight. Now you can hear the turbo. in that tree right up here. Oh, here, I'll call to him. Oh, there Look, he there he goes. Ta -ta! <laughs> See, we talk. Look at that freedom. That's just freedom leaving the parking lot. You can't run down that bald eagle's bum. Still got him. Yeah. 
You smoke that chicken. Ah! All right, we got the truck back from Z-Bart. Got the windows all tinted. They look good from here, don't they? Might notice the hood's open. So they actually had a little problem with this thing at Z-Bart. Really? Besides they couldn't drive a manual transmission. You remember we took that uh, master cylinder apart in the spot we shouldn't have, the clutch master cylinder? Had that funky snap ring. Oh yeah? It popped loose. Ooh. So anyway, it quit on him actually as he's backing it out last night. I actually picked it up with the semi coming back from an auction. When I loaded up on the trailer last night, I looked underneath it and I was not happy. Not happy. Not happy at all, but it didn't just quit right there. So I run back in there and beat on the door because they were shutting out at 5.30. It was a few minutes after. And uh, got the guy to come back out and uh, show him what they missed. Should we take a peek? So the salesman goes to tell me that you guys can see we've got nice primer and blue paint here. We've got undercoating over here. We've got some undercoating over here. But uh, this part right here is pretty important, wouldn't you say? Yeah. yeah. And then we've got places up in here that we've missed. and We've done a half, I'll just say a half job, not half the other word, my donkey. Look at that big gray spot up there Kevin's got here. How about this one right show them here? Up there? Turn that around. I mean, look that's in there. not going to rust out or nothing, right? Nope. Nope. Uh -uh. So if you guys don't know, I, thought, I think I may have said earlier that Z-Bart is a uh, <laughs> undercoating and actually spraying all the door jams and everything too. And I even told these guys, I pulled this truck in there. Hey, this cab's been drilled for Z-Bart already. So if you bring your light over here, Mr. Kevin, yes. we'll look. Well, they put a plug in here. Hopefully they put something in there. Oh, we've never put nothing in there. We've got several plugs up here in this door. We've got holes here. Hole here. Oh, we've never put nothing in there. You know what the uh, best hole see, is? I can see in them. This one down here. This wasn't even here. Put your light underneath there. You guys can see. That just goes to nowhere. So they drilled a freaking hole in my truck for no reason. <laughs> Didn't even do nothing. But then it gets better, right? It does. It gets better. It gets real better. So when I picked it up, I noticed this window tent. You guys can see it's got like an eighth inch gap here. I'm like, whatever, it's not a show truck, you know. So I'm looking at the other window tent. I think we ought to go back. <laughs> I want to know what you guys would do if, you may not be able to see this, if you cut a piece of window tent that was maybe a half inch too short or something. I don't know if you guys can see this right here. This is actually black electrical tape. So they decided since they cut it too short, they were just gonna cover it up with black electrical tape. Isn't that nice of them? Hey. I mean, it's not These a freaking, are good people. It's not a show truck, but they're in. <laughs> they're losing the So I'm pretty, pretty disappointed. The guy I used to know at Z-Bart, he actually retired and moved on. I've had decent luck out of those guys. I'm sure they're going to make it right. Hopefully they do it. My, my problem is I don't have the time to take it back in there and mess with it. And, but we're going to have a little discussion. I wasn't real happy with the guy last night, but uh, I've got a new master cylinder coming in because me and Kevin actually took that apart in a spot we shouldn't have. And I'm just going to put a new one. Yeah, we never do stuff like that. Add that funky snap ring with two different yeah, yeah. sizes in. So. Yeah. I got a new one of those, and I've got all this extra time in my hands. I'm just going to take this truck back in there and they're going to be ripping off tent and I'm going to pick it up and I'm not going to see any gray primer under there. Right. And they're supposed to tent my wife's truck and you know what they're going to do? They're going to tent it for free. Right. That's right. That's what I'm going to tell them anyway or they can go stuff it. So anyway, we'll uh, see what happens with this. I'm going to take it back in there again and hopefully they'll make it right. All right, guys, got the truck back from Z-Bart. Uh, they got me fixed up there. Other than one issue, I'll show you here in a second. Uh, the undercoater guy was good enough. We put it up on the lift. We went over some things, showed him everything that he missed. He got her all touched up again. Looking good and fresh. We did get the uh, door jams all sprayed and the A and B pillars. I got the plugs popped back in there. I watched him do all that, spraying all that stuff. So kind of a neat operation, but uh, got all that done. For sure got all the plugs back up in here i guess they don't do this anymore they tell me so i don't know 
um, they tried to tell me that uh, they don't do that at all. And I said, I've got video proof of popping these Z-Bart plugs out for sure. So Tucker's got a whole bucket of them he popped out. But uh, only thing I got into it with, their window tinner guy come out. I showed the managers this and they said that's not acceptable. But uh, the window tinner guy come out and said that's the way it's going to be. And told me, pretty much told me off. And I said, I've had a slew of these trucks done. And he pretty much told me that there's no possible way. But uh, you guys can see. That's just vinyl tape they put on there. So anyway, I kind of got into it with him. He's kind of rude to me. He didn't really like the way he was speaking to me. So he wanted to rip it all out and redo it. I said, you're not touching my truck no more. It's kind of, there's Tucker. Hi. So anyway, they gave my money back on the window tent. Um, I feel that's the right thing to do. What do you think? Sure. It's kind of a sure. crappy, crappy job all around. So I don't even know what happened. Honest, but... Well, we had all kinds of issues. I had the kids there to come pick me up after school, but uh, I figured he's going to redo that window tent. But after that guy's attitude, I didn't want him touching my truck anymore. It's pretty rude. So the manager apologized for him, and he's going to have a talk with him and all that stuff. So, But uh, anyway, like I say, I gave my money back on that. But that's Z-Bart at Bloomington, so you guys are in the neighborhood. You might be a little careful there with the window tinter guy. hate to say anything about it, but he kind of turned me the wrong way. So, But uh, hopefully the guys like the build. Tucker had a lot of fun working on it, didn't you? A lot of freaking work so but i uh, hope you like the build series if you've not seen there's a playlist down below there's probably a 10 or 12 videos on this thing um from putting the power stroke in and all that good stuff so i may do a confirmation all the videos a little 10 or 15 minute thing throw all of them into one thing but uh yeah it's been an epic build for sure i think it turned out good don't you so uh if you guys liked all this stuff you've seen you might give me a big thumbs up and uh, if you're not done so, you might consider subscribing so you don't miss out in the next videos. We've got plenty more cool stuff coming up. Um, we're getting ready to go to Florida. we got uh, Florida auctions coming up. I think Let's Dig 18 and Dirt Perfect's coming down there with us. So we'll have some uh, cool footage from down there from all the auctions. I know you guys really liked that last year. So, But uh, yeah, there she is. It's a little dirty. It got rained on last night when I hauled it home. But what would you get me? Oh, I need a rear view mirror. So I got a couple more things we're gonna do to it yet. Um, I've got uh, mud flaps gonna hang on it. I actually got some uh, body body line molding I was gonna stick on there. Kind of break some of that blue up. And I've got some of the original uh, aluminum fender trim they're gonna put on there. So, but uh, yeah, the inside of it's turned out awesome. Drives nice, nice and quiet now for a power stroke. And uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Tucker's got me a rear view mirror too. Brand new, huh? Brand new. You got the... I've got that part on the window already. Well, have fun with it. Okay, I'll get that put on. Well, guys, we appreciate you watching. And we will catch you next time.